You ready? Uh, hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Welcome to The Countdown. This week, we start things off with Australian singer-songwriter Morgan Evans. As usual, on this countdown, you are only going to see a short clip of the video, but you should check out the whole thing if you get the chance. It's pretty cool. It's directed by a guy named Peter Zavaldi, who is responsible for about 300 country videos over the last 20 years. Brad Paisley, Dirks, Blake, Reba, most of Eric Church's stuff. Uh, Tim Hicks is loud most recently. That's pretty good. Easier, actually, to name people he hasn't worked with. He's good. Anyway, give it a once-over if you like the track, which I'm kind of guessing you do because Morgan Evans' Kiss Somebody makes its chart debut and starts us off at number 20. Somebody in mind You can kiss like your heart ain't ever been broke The kind of lips hit your lips Get your eyes to close I know just what you're going through Cause I want to kiss somebody too And Downtown Kids from David James is up one position to 19. David James, Downtown Kids, up one position to 19 this week. In the spirit of Labor Day, Sugarland was recently asked about life before fame and fortune, about what they did to pay the bills. Well, it turns out Christian and Jennifer had some pretty interesting and random jobs. I directed traffic for a while on road crew. When you have to pull up to a road crew that's working on the road. That's a hot job. That's I a mean, hot literally job. Hot. I got a lot of sunburn on that. And then all the way to the other side, which is maybe the opposite of that job. I was a computer programmer, which is like sitting inside of a cold room and figuring out problems. I painted houses. I worked as a gopher in an art gallery, which was probably the worst one that I had, just because the lady was very mean and I had to tell her so. so I was a nanny. My favorite one was being a camp counselor. I did that for three summers, and that was probably my most, besides music, my favorite job ever. Sugarland's Babe, featuring Taylor Swift, drops one position this week to 18. Sugarland Babe featuring Taylor Swift down one spot to 17. Jess Moskaluk is keeping pretty busy. She's been performing at festivals all summer. She took last weekend off to get married. And in two weeks, she, along with Kira Isabella and Madeline Merlot, will open the Canadian Country Music Association Awards with a triple tribute to host Shania Twain. Jess is also nominated in six categories, including Fans' Choice and Album of the Year for Past the Past. From that album, her latest single, Camouflage is up two positions this week to number 17. Congratulations, Jeff. With the neon and the whiskey and the entourage So camouflage, camouflage Kenny Chesney's Get Along drops two positions to 16. We try to get along while we can Always give love the upper hand Paint a wall, learn to dance, call your mom Make a friend, can't we all get along? Desperate Man from Eric Church is up three positions to number 15. About, hey, hey, what can I say? I'm a desperate man. I said, hey, hey, what can I say? I'm just a desperate man. Madeline Merlot's Neon Love drops two spots to 14. Dallas Smith's Make Em Like You moves up three positions to 13 in its second week on the chart. Cause you want of a kind, make you stop on a dime, yeah, you're sassy, you classy, you cool. No, they don't make them like that anymore, anymore. They don't make them like you, they don't make them like you. Brett Kissel's Guitars and Gasoline moves up one position to 12. nothing spark the flame in two hearts. And Worth a Shot from Aaron Prochette is in at number 11, which is exactly where it was one week ago. Hey, 
Aaron Burchett worth a shot up three spots to 11. All right, 10 down, 10 to go. That's halftime, which means it's time to head to Hollywood for Zach Selwyn's One Minute Music Minute. It's the One Minute Musical Minute. Hey, it's Zach Selwyn. Welcome to the One Minute Music Minute live from my kitchen. And as you can see, my man bun finally connected. It looks terrible. Jay-Z and Beyonce performed at the University of South Carolina on the football field. They did so much damage to the field that security has to replace the entire thing before the football season starts. Security announced they had not seen rappers do this much damage to grass since the Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg Rolling Papers tour in 2016. Country singer Margot Price tweeted out that she had recently taken acid and was willing to take fan questions on her Twitter page. When one fan asked her how she was feeling, she replied, Pink swing set flamingo in curriculum clouds. Whoa, look at that wall. It's totally breathing. Finally, Spice Girl and America's Got Talent judge Mel B checked into a rehab for sex and alcohol addiction. According to one insider, Mel B would hook up with multiple men a day. As a concerned reporter, I would just like to offer up my email address right there, my Instagram handle. Come on, Mel B, get at me. What's good, girl? That's your one minute music minute. I'm Zach Sa Oh, come on. All right, a few more months. It's the one minute musical minute. Ba -dee -bop, doo -dee -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, Zach. Follow Zach on Twitter at Zach Selwyn. He has some funny stuff on, on Twitter and Instagram. It's good. You should check it out. Back to the chart and into the top 10 we go with Carrie Underwood, who will release her sixth sixth album, Cry Pretty, on September 14th. Fun with words. This week, she revealed some details about the album. Carrie wrote nine of the 13 songs. For the first time in her career, Carrie served as co-producer, working with fellow producer and songwriter David Garcia. And the album also includes The Champion, her Super Bowl duet with Ludacris as a bonus track. Bet you Ludacris was glad to get that call, huh? I think he had the time. Once again, Cry Pretty comes out September 14th, and the title track is down one position to number 10 this week. And Gord Bamford's Dive Bar is up one spot to number nine. Gord Bamford Dive Bar up one spot to number nine. One day, not that long ago in Nashville, Brett Young went to a songwriting appointment. It was with a musician named Sean McConnell, who had previously written songs for Tim McGraw, Rascal Flatts, Brad Paisley, and a bunch of others. The two had never met before. That day, they ended up writing Mercy. But it almost didn't happen because Brett was almost finished with his album. And when he met Sean, he told him that his label thought he had enough slow stuff on the record and they wanted him to write some more up-tempo, upbeat songs. Well, I'll let Brett explain. Mercy was supposed to be an up-tempo song to make the first record. And it was my first write with Sean McConnell. And uh, I went in and I said, hey, the label says we need more up-tempo songs. And I immediately fell in love with Sean when he said, I don't really care about that. <laughs> I'd like to write whatever we're going to write today, and I'd like to write the best song we can write today. And, and we had never met before, and so he wanted to talk and get to know each other. And we kind of got on to each other's past relationships. And when you're talking about past relationships, you're always talking about ones that didn't work out. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I used the word mercy in the conversation. He goes, that's it, that's a song. And he started playing something on the guitar. Mercy is in at number eight for a second week in a row. If you made up your mind, then make, make this fast. If you ever love me, have mercy. Dan and Chase Tequila drops two positions this week to number seven. Swimming on a Bible, baby, I never leave you. I remember how bad I need you. Dean Brody's Good Goodbye moves up one spot to number six. I want you to be just one more margarita, pretty senorita, cause we gotta kill some time. Leaving Mexico, getting low, poco, with one hell of a good goodbye. And Old Dominion's Hotel Key is up one position to number five. Slipped it in a purse, I guess. It makes a thing of me. And that night we left our hearts on the sleeves and the clothes all over the floor. We both know we can't open that door no more. But she kept the hotel key. 
Old Dominion Hotel Key up one spot to number five. It seems these days that every major country star is opening a bar in downtown Nashville, including Florida George Line, Dirk Bentley, Blake Shelton, Jason Aldean, and Luke Bryan. So is that something that Thomas Rhett would ever consider? Hmm? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Everybody has one except for me. I feel completely left out right now. But yeah, I think it'd be really fun to do something a little bit different as well. I don't know what that looks like, but maybe we'll see my name on something in the future. Life Changes drops two positions to number four this week. You make your plans and you hear God laughing. Life changes. And I wouldn't change it for the world. The world. FGL Simple is up one spot to number three. It's just that simple, S I M P L E. Simple as can be. It's just that simple, S I M P L E. Simple as can be. And Luke Bryan's Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset is also up one position this week. It's in at number two. Just sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. Sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. Luke Bryan, Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset, up one spot to number two this week. Jason Aldean's longtime friend Chuck Wicks is dating his sister. That sounded weird. I don't mean Chuck Wicks is dating his own sister. Jason Aldean and Chuck Wicks are pals, have been for years. By the way, Chuck Wicks, in case you don't remember, had a top five hit called Stealing Cinderella in 2007. Now he hosts a morning radio show in Nashville. Anyway, Chuck is dating Jason's sister, Cassie, and he addressed it in a recent podcast interview that included Chuck Wicks' radio team. Jason Aldean said, The one thing I told my sister when I found out they were kind of talking, I was like, I'll be honest, there's a lot of people in Nashville I would be completely against you dating, but I don't have anything bad to say about Chuck which is very nice, and I can relate. One of my close friends dated my sister, and I knew it could get tricky if things eventually went sideways, but he's a great guy and the only one of my nut bar crew that I would let anywhere near my kid's sister. And now, years and years later, they are happily married with three beautiful kids and selfish awesome perk, I always have a friend at family functions. The supportive big brother Jason Aldean is in at number one for a second week in a row with Drowns the Whiskey, featuring Miranda Lambert. And the thing that really gets me Is how your memory drowns the whiskey Jason Aldean drowns the whiskey featuring Miranda Lambert, the number one song in the country for a second week in a row. All right, that's a wrap. Subscribe to Olay TV and never miss a thing. Please check out my new radio countdown. Two hours, all the songs, interviews, and fun and stuff. It's on any real country, new country, CFCW, or Kicks Newfoundland station. 21 stations in all across Canada. Not bad. And the show has a Facebook page. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Paul McGuire. That's it. Thanks for watching. Go back to school. See you next time. Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Thanks for tuning in. Click here. Here? I'm not a weatherman. Whatever. Click here to subscribe. Somewhere here to subscribe for more from OLA TV. And if you would be so kind, please like and share this video.